an electric powered sling TSI. Incredible. This, guys, is the future. Welcome to Mojo Group. My name is Mike. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today's video is something incredible that I want to share with you. Whether you've been following this channel or perhaps you've been following the company behind this electric powered uh, airplane, uh, I just think it's an incredible thing. Now, those of you who are new to the channel, again, my name is Mike. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. But in today's video, we're going to check out a Sling TSI with an electric motor. This project is currently codenamed the E-Sling and it's been put together by a team in Germany. Basically, they're building a battery cell coupled with an electric motor and with that, you don't need fuel to fly a Sling TSI. A few years ago before they started this project, actually, one of the lead team members, Alexander, reached out to me and just to let me know that, hey, we're doing this. And just like anybody else, I was very curious, but I also, I was a critic because as a lot of aviation fans and also pilots, we know that there's been just little by little, few entries of electric powered uh, aircraft. The bad news is the fact that most of these planes can really go more than an hour. So you get a full charge gives you about an hour worth of flying. But I'll share my thoughts after I give you the, the rundown of this project because again, I think it's, it's pretty incredible. This team is called Celsius. They, they're based out of Germany and basically they're taking a full scale Sling TSI, which is an experimental four seater airplane. One, they are building a battery cell for it and then also they would have a motor that works together with that battery to provide you some power to get you off the ground. Now, even if you're not tech savvy, the foundation of a project like this is you need batteries, you need an inverter, and then you need a motor. Those three main components will give you an electric powered motor, which can provide enough power for you to fly an airplane. Now, I'm gonna go into some of the stats and details for this uh, project, but I did wanna mention that they actually flew, they had a first flight last month. And this is two years in the making. The motor used here is brand new. It's not a road tax or anything like that. They built out this motor and also coupled built out the battery cell that is gonna work with this. Now this team is not just building an electric uh, powered motor. Uh, they're also actually working on hydrogen powered uh, batteries, but that's, that's a video for another day. Now, what they did is they went to the airplane factory in South Africa got a kit for a sling TSI. What I imagine also is that the build process would be slightly different, okay? Given that once you find out how much some of these components weighs, they had to build it differently. But ultimately what they ended up with was a full scale, fully built out four seat sling TSI, but with a different motor on the nose or in the nose. And that motor puts out about 110 kilowatts of power. That only gives you a range of say 100 miles. Again, to the average pilot, that's peanuts, right? But if you just think for a moment what was achieved here, what is being achieved here, it's pretty darn amazing that you can build something in sh such a short period of time and have it fly you 100 miles. Now here's some of the stats uh, that we have on this E-Sling. The entire gross weight of the airplane will still remain the same, which is about 950 kilograms. That's roughly 2,200 pounds in US conversion. Now, once you take out fuel tanks and replace those with batteries, which is another cool concept I thought here, and the design of this plane, they basically use the same place where you would put your fuel and put batteries there instead, which is the wings of the airplane. Now, here's the thing. The batteries that they put in each wing, those batteries together weighs over 400 pounds. Altogether weighs about 493 pounds. That's actually closer to 500 pounds. Now, a normal gas powered airplane, a Sling TSI, you have either 46 gallons of fuel on board or the new version of the Sling TSI, you have up to 52 gallons. As a matter of fact, standard now is 52 gallons. But even that, you really over 300 pounds total 
for your fuel. With my airplane that has 45 gallons of fuel, I'm right under 300 pounds total for my fuel. So when you're calculating the useful load for the airplane, this would change the dynamic of that, or it would change the calculation of that. So now, instead of having a full gas tank that's just barely 300 pounds, you now have sets of batteries that weighs closer to 500 pounds. And with the battery, you also have an inverter and that weighs roughly 16 pounds. And now you have your motor. That's what's gonna spin your prop and hopefully pull you up and get you cruising in the sky. Again, the motor used here was also developed by E-Sling or Celsius. And that motor weighs about 42 kilograms, which is roughly 93 pounds. So you add all of these together, you might actually even out because again, in a gas powered airplane, although you have about 300 pounds worth of fuel, the motor, a Rotax 915, weighs a lot more than 93 pounds. So perhaps you'd have some of that weight distribution back. Now when you have those new components, then you also have the airframe itself of a Sling TSI. Again, nothing much is changing here. It's the same airframe, same four seats in terms of the interior, and then your avionics, I actually think the avionics here is pretty cool. Being an experimental airplane, you can always swap out for Garmin or Dynon or MGL, whatever the case may be. But you see something cool here is with an electric power, you're not really looking for a bunch of mechanical stuff on your engine page. You're just looking at your battery percentage, which I thought was pretty cool. That's something I can look forward to, right? If I'm flying along, I just gotta know, okay, where's my percentage or how much power do I have left? So that's one of the cool things that you will have in addition with your avionics, just a way to monitor the battery and the motor. And then as of right now, this airplane can only operate in VFR conditions, visual flight rules. So you can't fly this airplane in instrument conditions for obvious reasons, right? So VFR, you can see out, you're less vulnerable to something going bad and not be able to act quickly as compared to say you're in marginal view condition and then something happens and you're not able to get down quickly or solve the situation. So right now, this airplane as with just about any electric airplane in the market right now is only meant to be operated in visual flight rules. As far as pricing or even something like this being available in the market, there's none, okay? This is just a project to, to just give a glance of what the future can look like. I can't imagine how much something like this will cost when it comes to the market, but a good comparison would be the E-Flyer, which is another electric powered airplane that we've covered on this channel. And those are going for about half a million dollars, the four seat version. Uh, the E-Flyer has two seats and four seats. So I imagine something like this actually make it to the market, a fully built out Sling TSI with an electric motor. You're looking at at least, at least half a million dollars, depending on you know what year this actually comes out. Here's the endurance of this airplane. As I mentioned, you only have about 100, 111 miles total range and that's about an hour worth of flying. But this is also with having a fully loaded airplane. You can put four passengers in, or three passengers and one pilot in, and fly for an hour. Now again, it's not as practical in the real world currently if you can only fly an hour. Mostly maybe you can fly around the pattern, do two, three touch and goes, and then boom, you're done. There are no specific information yet on how you actually charge the battery, but I imagine it's gonna be the same process as you would charge an electric car. Uh, just plug in the wall with the right power output and you should be good to go. Now again, this is just in the early stages, so I know all the critics out there, and you can leave your criticism in the comments. I want you to look at this in a different glass or put have a different perspective. Electric powered airplanes is happening and at some point it will take over the industry. The fact is just like the automotive industry, the aviation industry is also looking for alternatives when it comes to energy. Right now we burn a lot of fuel, okay? And maybe it's not as healthy for our environment and planet Earth. I'm a pilot, I love to fly, so I'm totally the wrong person to be advocating for alternative energy, but truly I do care about these things. 
And although some of the new technologies that we've seen so far, particularly with the e-sling, gives us very little, that's not to say that in a year, two to five years, that we wouldn't have an actual airplane that can go three, four hours which is about what you would get now. Right now, in a normal Sling TSI, you can actually fly up to eight hours in a normal Sling TSI. But if you can get a great airplane, electrically powered, that can go three to four hours, you've hit the jackpot. But outside of practicality, I think safety also comes to the front line here. Now, in your mechanically powered airplane or a gas powered airplane, you have some some assumptions they're predictable because basically we've been flying these things for a hundred years or more right so you have some predictability there where you can note okay this is how much fuel my airplane burns this is how much reserve i need to have blah 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 all that stuff that you would do in a normal flight plan now with an electric powered airplane i'm not sure how and these are questions that a lot of people are asking about both pilots and also AP mechanics, just people around the industry. Okay, once we have an electric powered motor, okay, what would the maintenance look like? More than likely you'd have less maintenance, but also in actual real world flying, what are the safety measurements? What are the backups, right? So for example, with a gas powered motor, your only backup is to have enough fuel, reserve some fuel for your trip. So you can have an hour, two hours worth of reserve depending on how far you're flying. And then also you couple that with having backup batteries for your avionics. Now, with an electric powered motor where all of your power source is coming from a battery, do you then have backup on backup batteries? Or also, is everything in that airplane, both the motor and the avionics and your electric switches, taking power from the same source. Uh, these are some of the things that come into question when you're talking about electric being the only and main source of power. But as of right now, Celsius believes that they are building a battery for the future of aviation and not just an electric powered battery, but also they have a hydrogen powered battery project that they're working on. I'm excited and I, I'm, I'm open to all of it and as this project keeps developing i would definitely update you guys if you have any questions please leave in the comments below because i actually want to send them directly your questions and some of the things that you have in your thought process with all of this but i think it's incredible that they were able to start from zero to first flight in just a matter of two years and they could have went with a different smaller airplane that only has one or two seats but the challenge was how can we power a four seat airplane with electricity, which I think is pretty darn good. Anyway, let me know your comments below and make sure you like, subscribe. If this is your first time, I really appreciate the support. Also consider becoming a paid member. Guys, I will catch you on the next video. Peace.